Hello guys, how you doing? It's the early dawn morning. Rain last night and it feels really cool. Feel really great. Feels great out here. It's about 6.30 a.m. And the uh, sun is taking later and later to rise. But this is beautiful. Beautiful. I thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I ask you to always take that manly, fleshly coat off because God always wants us in the spiritual being. And that's what man's study is not teaching you. So today, any message I give you is always from the universal God telling you how the world works. Uh, I'm not giving you my personal opinions. I'm giving you from the law of God. So a lot of times people think I'm for a political party, this or that. No, I'm telling you a story because I'm out the matrix. So I'm looking outside the matrix and looking in. You're in the matrix because your feelings are attached. I don't have feel. My feelings are only doing the command of God, his law. So I'm not attached to the world. I do the law of God, which is nothing of the world. And that's the law I follow, which is the law of God. So when you do that, all those things attached to you as you was taught as a man, you let go. And you accept the law of God, which is all the way different than what man is teaching you. Uh, guys, today's topic, Great Awakening 2020. How man is deceiving you. Great Awakening 2020. How man is deceiving you. Guys, I want to take you right to Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 through 26. This tells you your battle is your flesh versus your spirit. And your spirit does not like your flesh. Because when you live of the flesh, you live of the world and you're taught all the things of the world. And the kingdom of God is living by the spirit. So once again, when I tell you I live by the spiritual being, I'm not, I'm telling you a story how the world works. You are your own news and you go search. And then if you have a question, be like, hey, where did you see this? Drop me a comment. I'll tell you and I'll show you. Because I want you guys to be in the habit of, I give you the information, go search it. Because I already searched it. So that's what today's topic is. You're supposed to be always in your spiritual being and not attached to the political system. You're not supposed to be attached to the religions. All that stuff man taught you. So, yeah. Guys, I want to take you back to the Civil War. Because remember, I was Democrat, but I got out of that system. The North fought the South, is that right? Okay. Uh, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. He was on the North. The South is your Democrats. So these groups now, like your, like your Black Lives Matter, say they want to, they want to recoup, recoup all the things that happened to them in slavery. So why are you on the Democratic side? And I'm not telling you to join a party. I'm giving you the history. <laughs> so the South was always for slavery. The North was Abraham Lincoln, and they fought against that. Number two, the voting, the right to vote. You know what group opposed that? Your Democrats. Because I, I was told to always be Democrat. I never researched the history. So I'm not coming to you from political. I'm telling you the story of America. Also, your gun rights for, for African Americans. Do you know what group opposed that? All these things you can research. Your Democratic Party. <laughs> so I'm just showing you. But deceptively, somehow they got back all the African Americans and they've been opposed to the African Americans since they've been a political party. JFK was a Democrat and tried to go against the whole establishment because I'm going to get at the whole establishment. But uh, they killed him. 
So, remember, your government, I'm going to take you to the government. The government is a system of mind control. So, it's not just this government, it's all the governments. So, all the governments, all the governments taught the same thing. So, if they taught slavery here, they did it in all the other governments. They're all linked. They all work together. Behind our governments is what's called the cabal, the deep state, the Illuminati. Thirteen families. They are the ones in charge of our governments and they run everything. The Federal Reserve is how America sold its soul to the cabal, the deep state. Because that's how they controlled the money. Remember, the money is the root of all evil. So no matter what political party won, whether it's Republican or Democrat, the deep state cabal, Illuminati, would win. However, there was, uh, there's three presidents that's, actually I'll give it four. There's four presidents that went against it. Abraham Lincoln, assassinated. John F. Kennedy, assassinated. Ronald Reagan, they made an attempt on his life because he started to talk about him. And your Donald Trump came in as a independent. Yeah, Donald Trump, he came in as a independent. Remember that? So he's not Republican or Democrat. He's there to clean out your, uh, your cabal, your deep state. You guys are supposed to be in your spiritual being and not that as a man. Because you get sucked into the world and the system. I'm, I'm teaching you how the deceptiveness goes on. Your media, how are they tied in? Because they work for the cabal, the deep state. When they show on you something, it's not for your best interest. So man, it, the system is that deceptive. And your religions. Who taught us all these religions but not per the book because the when i read the books there is no re, there is no religion there is no christianity there is no baptist there is no uh buddhist there is no the slave masters taught us churches first chronicles 28 3 there was never supposed to be a church only a gathering the reason why because of the situation we in now so that's how they deceptively get you. So they have it partially right when they say, uh, when Black Lives Matter say, oh, we want to go against it. But look what side you're on. You're on the Democratic Party that started the slavery. So they see deceptive. Another one that does is uh, reverends that say only the black. Okay, I'm going to give you an illustration. If you get a white man that say only the white people, the the Caucasian is the chosen piece called a racist. But when you get a black man that say only the African Americans are the chosen people, that's not that's not racism. That is right. That's the same thing. See the manipulation. So that's how the world. That's why the world uses the African American. That way we don't say, oh, it's racist. If you get a bunch of Caucasian people marching and say white lives matter, it's called racist. If you get a bunch of African American, it's not called. See the difference? If you get a bunch of Asians that say Asian lives matter, they'll say, oh, look at those races. African American, that's why they're used. So notice I say the word used. They're used to keep us divided. What woke me up from to, to let you know we're not divided? Remember when George, uh, George Floyd died? And remember the protest? It was Caucasian people on the front lines. Stop it with the racism. Racism is yourself. For keep buying the Kool-Aid that they keep throwing at you. The, the, so the law of God said you're supposed to be in your spirit and you're supposed to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's including your enemy. It says keep the commandment. You ain't supposed to follow the law of God. I saw someone still talking about uh, yesterday, another deceptive one, talking about, and this is a reverend, so-called pastor reverend, 
Talking about, hey, I got my mask on and I'm staying six feet apart. And they in the house. That's of the flesh. That showed me they haven't read uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 through 26. Because it says, live in your spirit and not of your flesh. So right there, you're still going with the man, the Kool-Aid. They just put, CDC is backing up from this quote-unquote uh, virus. I think it's now only like 3,000 or 9,000, whatever. It's, it's, they're backing away from what they first said because it's all a false. Do you know who did the patent for the coronavirus? Yeah, there was a patent for the coronavirus. And you can research it because I did. CDC created a patent for your coronavirus. <laughs> it's on your government patent website. See the deception? And that was done back in uh, Bush era. That's what research does. Words like conspiracy, you get scared to research. But you're supposed to research. You, you are the media. Why would I believe a man not of God to teach me about news? <laughs> but that's what people do. So once again, why are the churches locked down with her? Because the churches need to be retaught who they really are. You are a spiritual being. You're not supposed to live of the flesh. And that's your whole battle. The world teaches you to fight your own brothers and sisters. Your battle is yourself with your spiritual being from your, from your human flesh. All the drinking, all the, uh, all the other things the world teaches you. You keep living like the world. You in that matrix. You got to get out that matrix, man, and look outside and then look in like I do. I'm talking you to you like a story, like the universal God tells me a story of how, that's what I'm telling you. I don't get into the racism. That's all man taught to keep you out of your spiritual being. Nothing of the law of God. The Ten Commandments, you know what they say. Do you follow the Ten Commandments? That's the law of God. That's what you're supposed to follow. You can go into the matrix to help teach like I'm teaching you. Stop falling for the deceptiveness by man. He continues sucks you in the matrix. That's where we're at now. That's why we are shut down. God wants to unveil us. Pedophilia, pedophilia is going on. Human trafficking. Notice none of these men of power or the media, no one talking about it. Why? Why would I talk about something I'm a part of? Wake up. Tie a that's a tying a milestone around your neck and casting yourself in the sea. Get out of the matrix, man, and become yourself. Start to create life how you want it when you are your spiritual being and live life that way. That's what God wants. Not trying to scare you. I want to waken you up to the deception of man. That's what's going on, man. All this political stuff, Republican. Donald Trump is not rep not Republican or Democrat. He came in as an independent to what? To drain the swamp. And that's what's going on with the military. They are they are cleaning. Why the lockdown? Because they're getting all the human trafficking taken care of, and they're getting the kid. That's why you're here now. The media doesn't want you to hear it, but you hear little by little that, they, they, oh, the kids are rescued, but they make little of it. Been going on. If you can get yourself out the matrix, you can see the whole story and stop being bi, uh, bi partial, like towards one or the other. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be in that matrix. The books talk nothing about a certain religion. It talks nothing about uh, ethnicities. It just talks about the law of God, man. We get sucked into the matrix that start to label us with all these division measures and we in the situation we in 
the world is in the situation it's in and God, God is coming back and he's going to have peace on earth, but you got to be of the commandments of God. That's what everything about. He's given us the chance to change our ways. Get out your manly self and get into the spiritual bank. That's what he's saying. That one right there is a uh, is a warning. The, the Galatians chapter 5, 16 through 30. That's a warning. Look how far back that was written and it's still going on now. But it's even more so now because God is coming back. Be on God's side. Most people will choose their 60-year human life span to enjoy these temporary pleasures rather than eternity with the universal God. I chose the universal God. So I'll take a few people hating me, but they hating God because I follow the commandments of God. I could care less. I only care about following God's commandments and enjoying the life like I want it. And that's what I do. I got out the matrix now. I create the life how I want it. I'm 49 years old and look at me. I don't look at my job. I teach. <laughs> But you caught in that matrix, look at that. So I am working, but I work for the universal God. And he'll take care of you. He'll do the rewards. Because when you, the world teaches you to get money and all that. But God taught me abundance. Which is everything. It's no dollar amount on abundance. Abundance is everything. It's everything. See? That's wisdom. So guys, uh, you take care, man. I just wanted to show you how the deception of man has always went on, man. Look up the Operation Mockingbird. That tells about the media, how they, how the, the CIA, your government, is behind your media. So they give them a script to read and they read it. All they care about is a paycheck. I come to you from the law of God. My feelings is out of it. Then you say, why don't I have anything for Joe Biden? Because Joe Biden done, has done nothing. 47 years. He only come around once every four years to get a vote. Every time I ask a Democrat that, I got a little, uh, there's, a, you, there's a lady that ran around asking Democrat. They couldn't answer what Joe Biden did. That's that matrix, man. People keep going by words, but they don't see the actions. I do stuff backwards. I could care less what you say. I watch your actions. And stop listening to other people talking for someone else. And I watch the person themselves, what they say and what they do. That's how you learn about people. I don't judge you from someone else. I judge you for myself. Most people take someone else's advice like media and run with it. They don't research the person themselves. If media is a liar and you keep believing it, look at you. You're supposed to do your own research. When you find out, you'll be like, this person's not so bad as they say. That's because you're in your spiritual being. So anyway, guys, I do this out of love, man. Not here to judge or nothing. I'm giving you the law of God and I'm giving you the story of the world. You guys take care. Have a beautiful day.